Good evening, everyone. I said, good evening, everyone. I'm a person who thrives off of energy. So I am the Morning Rush anchor for 11 Lives, NBC Atlanta. And I also have a franchise, it's called the AC, okay? All things entertainment here in Atlanta. Can I just say before I present this video that I am beyond proud to be standing before you all. Just last year, I was coming to Atlanta. This is my hometown, but I was coming to Atlanta and I was only three months in. And now to be back, not just being here, but presenting on stage in my hometown is monumental for myself and I'm beyond proud. And I feel that I have a testimony of being black excellence. Before I begin, I just want to acknowledge the right side of the room for me, the left side for you. 11 Alive's table, please raise your hand. 11 Alive, we're representing tonight. We're very proud to be a part of the Mayor's Mass Ball and the United Negro College Fund and everything that it has to offer. You know, back in the 1940s, it was a time where, let me just take you there, segregation of public restrooms, segregation of hospitals, segregation of any and everything. You can't touch that boy. You can't touch that, that water fountain. You're a color. Remember that. But at the same time, in 1944, somehow the United Negro College Fund was able to create itself and it was able to manifest through triumph. With that being said, you know, as a woman of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, or, okay. As a woman of Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated, you know, when I was online, I was always asked, do you know your history? Do you know your history, Francesca Amaker? Francesca, do you know your history? And tonight, I'm going to ask any and all of you, do you know the history of where you are tonight? How did UNCF come about? How did the mayor of Mass Fall come about? Well, I have the privilege of showing you tonight through the AC and 11 Lives presentation of the history of the 35th annual Mayor's Mass Fall. Please take a look, thank you. It was a time where blacks were experiencing hardships. Thank you so much. And now you all know your history. And a special shout out to Ryan Dennis, my producer of the A scene and 11 Alive, who helped us put all of this together. And I also would be remiss if I did not mention a special shout out to my date tonight, my father, L.O.A. D. Amberger III. You know, when I was growing up here in Atlanta, there would be a picture on the mantle. And it was my, my father, when he was like 30 years younger, and um, Andrew Young, when he was like 30 years younger. My father is standing right there in his red cummerbund. And 30 years ago, he and my mother would always say, we just wish we could go to the mayor's ball. We just wish, but we can't afford tickets. That was years ago, now they can. But, <laughs> don't get it twisted, no. But um, tonight, I was able to bring my father as my date. And when I tell you, I just feel like that's the epitome of black excellence. Each one teach one, bringing one up. And I just wanna say, Dad, you made it to the mayor's ball. And uh, again, you all know your history. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.